I'm not saying race, I use whatever you want. How you guys doing today? Today is Sunday and I'm coming for DIY video about this denim jacket that I customized myself. It got its expired by Gucci jacket and also I watched um, Brie Hall, her YouTube channel is Brie Hall and uh, I watched how she designed hers and I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. I'm not, I'm not really a follower about denim jacket and whatsoever because I like my things really specific and really different. That's why right here I have, you know, it's going to be mirror day soon and I have, I customized the front for just to, you know, for memorial day weekend. Ah, ah, pull up on the keys, pull up on the keys. So anyway, if you want to know how I customize this, if you want to know how I customize this jean jacket, stay tuned. It's pretty easy and I will explain everything to do. Love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and thumbs up for more video. Love you. So guys, what you're going to need some heat bomb, some iron lighter, some scissors. Do I need scissors? Some blades. Definitely some denim jacket that I, I got from the thrift store, some vintage shirt that I have, some thrift store, some iron, definitely need it. Now you lay the denim jacket on the table, flat on the table to be able to iron the jacket. You know, I'm ironing every single detail of it and also because it was an old jacket, so you need to flat down, you need to flat every single part of the jacket. Or every detail too. I'm using the blaze. I'm destroying the jacket. I'm centering all of this in the middle of the jacket, inside and out. Um, you don't need any specific any specific way to do it. Just do the way you would like, you would want. Anyway, you will find a many different video on YouTube how to destroy your jacket. It's pretty easy, not really that difficult. So. I'm centering, I'm doing all that in the middle of the of my jacket and low and pretty much down. Now I'm pretty much destroying, I'm really going deep, 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 deep into it because I want every single beautiful detail to show. Like you see, I'm using my hands to pretty much showing the detail out. Now Using the vintage shirt, I'm going to measure exactly what I really need for that portion of the destroyed part. And um, I'm going to put that down to just measure that everything is very good for what I need. Now, I'm using the heat bond to place to actually secure the vintage shirt on top of it. Pretty easy. I'm putting it down and I'm gonna use your iron to iron the top of it to pretty much glue it or iron um make that stick in. Pretty easy. Not a, not a bit tough. Now that I'm done doing the jack the vintage shirt, I'm gonna glue my layers. You know, I'm wanna write Gucci on it. So I'm just gonna put every layer on top on top of it and iron it because it's an iron is an iron layer. Pretty easy too. So you do that just like you like, just like you want. Mine was um I just choose to put on the top of my jacket. I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna do that with every single letter. You see me fixing it because I wanted that to be very specific, very good in the middle of my jacket. I'm insisting for that to glue, glue it down. Don't be dropping on me. Don't be dropping on me. Pretty much done my bag and I felt like it wasn't it was missing something so I went on the top of my jacket and I destroyed that too pretty easy same technique that I did 
and then I went on the in the front and I put some more detail I put some um, some flag on it you know it's Memorial Day you have to support it and here is the final work. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Love you.